So, cry rig, uh, you sent this over some more cry rig uh, CPU corders, and I'm a big fan of the CPU corders. But not saying that you're going to get a high rate or anything like that, because we've got to obviously do the test. But so far, I'll be really, really stoked, and that's why I've been letting the people know that your stuff's really great. So, we've got the R1 Universal, and this is a cry rig CPU air cooler, and it's absolutely hench. It is really big. This one's got the white actual aesthetics to go with your motherboard well that's the color that we chose anyway this works with all the amd plat uh, amd sockets and all the intel sockets being 2011 version 1 version 2 version 3 and 1150 socket 1151 those sort of sockets as well so it'll go cover all the motherboards and we've also got this one this is obviously the h5 universal and this works with everything else but this is going to be in another video so more on that in another video Oh yeah, check out these beautiful cables, custom to any color you like, 8 pin, 6 pin, EPS connectors, 24 connectors, oh yeah, Shack Mods, shut your mouth, check out their website. So, we've got the CPU air cooler right here, and the whole point about you coming to this video is what this video is going to be about. Well, it's going to be about obviously bench testing the actual CPU air cooler and seeing how well it performs. We've got 6700K, which can not be overclocked. It's gonna be running idle, and it's gonna obviously be torture tested with Prime 95, and then I'm gonna be using CPU ID and stuff like that, so you can see it's not overclocked and all that. And then I'm gonna be showing you, obviously, the Windows interface, which is showing you um, how, it, to show you that it's idle and it's not overclocked and everything like that. So you've got all the proof in the pudding and making sure you can see it like ramp up and then you can hear the fan go up if it does or not, not too sure because I haven't tested it yet. And then also we're just going to be saying whether this is going to be a decent CPU air cooler to use. All the cryo rigs I've used so far have been really quite great. So hopefully this one's going to be a, a bit of a, of like, definitely a great one obviously because it's a bit of a beast and it's good because it's nice. It's nice. Cool. Okay. Does you like it on with it? I think so. <laughs> rocking 140 mil fans it's got a thick one and it's got a thin one at the front it's got plenty of clearance for obviously ram clearance cryo rig have really thought out the idea and made everything very simple everything was already built in the box basically and i just had to put the bracket on and the good thing about cryo rig as well they also have a box tray like this and it's got all your uh, accessories in there so you've got amd with amd and intel with intel and then you've got your cpu thermal uh, paste and all your like instructions everything all separate out like that obviously this is a bit manky now and uh, I like that they've included the actual screwdriver with the cryo rig um, like wording on there. I think I've got it upside down, so that way. And it makes it so simple because it's got holes pre-drilled in the actual CPU air cooler, so you can actually just put this 
straight into the CPU cooler and screw it down. And it's so simple. None of this taking the fans out and then putting it in and putting the fans in there, breaking the rubbers and everything like that. And know what I'm talking about, the rubber like clips that connect to the actual fins and it bends the fins and everything. This is all already done for you and it's got the clips there and you can change the fans if you feel to do so. But let's go through more of the dimensions. So the weight of the fan is 1,250 grams. Weight without fan is 970 grams. So that's the whole CPU air cooler together, not just the fan. The fan doesn't weigh like over a kilo itself. But anyway, the heat pipes, six mil heat pipes times seven units, which is pretty cool. Uh, tells you the gaps of um, obviously the fins because this is on Cryo Rig's uh, website, so it's quite cool. Um, got a decent copper base, C1100 um, pure copper nickel plated. Uh, base which is like um, you know you've got the normal orange ones this is like a very nice quality nickel uh, plated back so it's uh, got great contact with the thermal grease and the CPU uh, cooler so the thermal grease in the middle that plates at the top nickel plate and then obviously the CPU um, plate itself so it's a great uh, contact together uh, RAM height limited uh, it says limitless so that means that they really thought about it Cryo Rig have literally got loads of motherboards and cases and they're measuring everything perfectly. When you look at other manufacturers, they don't actually measure the HCP air cooler, just kind of make it, oh this will fit in there, but they don't have like any innovation like Ranger Tech, Cryo Rig and whoever else that does this sort of stuff add tools in there to help you build your uh, CPU air cooler really quickly. You know how much, how annoying it could be to have a CPU air cooler to put together. Bracket was very simple, connect to the back, screw some four screws down, uh, put the brackets on the top for the actual CPU air cooler, put the four bolts down, went nice and tight, and then obviously put the thermal grease on, then put the CPU air cooler on, the new screwdriver, and it's done. So TDP stands for Thermal Design Power, and this is at 240 watts plus, it could go up, it could go down, but that's the ratio that they're giving, or the manufacturer they're giving. Uh, damage to the fans, which I'm sure I, I talked about, not 120 mil like the normal standard ones, 140. This is a really beast of an air cooler, and you've got an airflow of 76 CFM on which fan is that? I think that is that's the thick one and then the thin one the dimensions are CF of 65 CF, uh, CFM and that weighs 89 grams and 156 for the other one but it depends like you're not if you're going to walk around with it and you want them kind of dimensions it's up to you but obviously telling you about the CFM about how many how much pressure the air goes through the actual fins it looks very very well made, great quality, aesthetic wise it looks really nice, I opted for the white one because I'm going to be doing a white build but that's going to be another video anyway. So I'm glad I started talking all about that, now hopefully the temperatures are going to be great. So what we're going to use, obviously we're using a 6700K processor, RAM is crucial, Elite RAM, 3000 uh, megahertz DDR4. Um, we're using a gigabyte motherboard. What gigabyte one is it? It is a GA H170 HD3 motherboard. Uh, the CPU is not overclocked or anything like that. We're not using any graphics cards. We're not using any more fans to blow the fan, uh, blow the motherboard. All we're doing is checking out the CPU thermal in and dissipating from the CPU air cooler by Cryo Rig. So what we're going to use? We're going to use CPU. Uh, Z, so CPU ID, so you can see like uh, it's not overclocked and everything like that. We're going to use Windows as well, uh, youth interface, so you can see that it's idle. So at the moment, you can see it's idle running at 4.4 gigs to 3.88 uh, gigs. And I'm not going to update that, nothing else, no overclocking, no voltages, no nothing. Everything's just exactly how it should be and we use CPU ID and that is going to be for the hardware to measure the temperatures and stuff like that and then for the final um, results obviously using Prime Night 5. Right so that's what the fan ratio is at the moment, the um, rotations per minute. And I've got fan is torture test, there we go. Right so we're up to 1418 rotations per minute so that's that speed of that fans and where are we temperature core 59 degrees 59 degrees 59 degrees 60 degrees so we're hitting near enough six degrees going to run this test for five minutes so at the bottom here you should see it say like 12 o'clock 
And this this test was done on the 13th of September 2016. Yay! Anyway, um, so design, aesthetic-wise, I love it. I think it's really cool. Um, anything else I should talk more about it is that it's so easy. So if you're a beginner, it's already built. If you're not, a, if you're intermediate, you can play around with it and also change the fans. And if you're advanced, you're gonna love it because you just want to work on. You've got more uh, concentration to work on something else. And it also comes with um, an extension cable or a cable that make it, like you've got two fans obviously. So he's got two cables that are braided, which are braided quite nice. Then they add in a single cable as well, so you can connect two cables. There's one single cable straight to the one. Uh, header so if you've got a micro ATX or um, a mini ITX motherboard that's going to save up on uh, fan header space and you can add more fans in there and keep it cool so that's good anyway so what have we got here uh, where's the temperature gone we're at 61 degrees 61 degrees 60 degrees 62 degrees and so far it is doing really well it's not really loud or anything like that it's not that power hungry actually nice and cool from what I'm uh, feeling so as I said there is no fans blown over the VRMs graphics cards not in there it's just onboard graphics crucial memory uh, gigabyte motherboard OCZ uh, solid state drive and the power supply we're using is the Antec 1000 watt power supply and you can't really see it but this one is the HCP platinum one so don't want to over do it or anything like that, but if I need to overclock and need more voltage, I can actually do that at my own will. Anyway, simple to build. Mm, what more can I say? So we've got three more minutes remaining. And let's check out Cryo Rig's website. So, uh, as you can see, it works with, obviously, version 2, 11, version 3. It does work with version 2 and version 1. Uh, 1366 um, socket. 1150 socket, 1151 socket, 1155 socket, 1156 and 75 and all the AMD sockets as well and I'm not too sure whether it's going to work with the newest AMD that's coming out I think late quarter so in in our time in Britain obviously it's in January or February time so not too sure hopefully it does So now what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to check the core temperature so we haven't really hit more than 63 degrees. So overall 63 degrees on all cores and it's between 61 and 62, 63 degrees on all cores. And then we've got the fan still at 1450 rotations per minute and 1418 rotations per minute on the double CPU uh, air cooler fan. And uh, yeah, everything's not really changed. It's all really quite cool. Um, even the RAM's not doing too bad at temperatures as well. Because <laughs> the RAM's just right underneath. So I'm thinking, if I've got more RAM sticks, I can actually dissipate heat from the actual CPU air cooler. And that's pretty quite cool. Just making it more, utilize its space. So if you're using it in a smaller case, then you can actually utilize it by dissipating heat. That'd be quite cool. Anyway, I'm gonna stop the bench test. And we've gone straight down from 63, 62, 61 degrees, all the way down to from 28, 27, 26 degrees. And it gave it about two seconds of like ramping down the actual fan speed. So now the fan speed is at 1036 rotations per minute. So at the moment, 25, 26, 25, 24, idle. So I'm really quite impressed with that as well. And also impressed with uh, Cryo Rig's website. Really quite cool. That's the end of the review of um, the Cryo Rig R1 Universal. So if you like this video or like these sort of videos, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Leave a comment uh, or ask me a question about something I could have done or um, or ask me a question about it, actually not something I could have done but you may probably ask a question about another previous video about CPU or not anyway don't forget the other video as well is going to be coming out uh, which is the universal H5 or H7 and um, yeah I'm going to test that because that's a smaller one for obviously a smaller case and see you in the next one thanks for watching